What is up everyone? That's what happens when you forget to turn your phone on airplane mode. And you got thousands of people calling you every goddamn day. No, I'm playing. I don't need to start off the second part mad because I'm not mad, man. Because the odds, like if you haven't watched my first video, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it to fully understand what I'm talking about. But anyways. We're gonna we're gonna go to the tunnel, and uh, this tunnel, I wait. Oh shit! School's still in. Shit! I wonder if I might get kicked off campus, or maybe they're gonna tell me you can't be on campus. I'm gonna be like, bitch. The fuck you think this is? I ain't show you my ID. I don't belong on campus. I don't belong in no fucking middle school. Shit. Sheesh. No, but I'm trying to do this. Because trust me, if I get caught, I will go to jail. No, I won't go to jail. <laughs> but I will be in trouble if I get caught. So I'm trying not to get caught. After school jobs. That's weird. Anyway, I'm trying not to get caught. Because if I get caught... Or the bell goes off, and I'm standing right here. I don't know if I know anyone, <laughs> and I look like shit, and I just got back from jury duty, and I should be quiet. Okay, we're to the tunnel. We're to the tunnel. Just go in, Fred. Just stop talking to yourself like a fucking idiot. That's why they're gonna come out. They're gonna come out. Who the fuck are you? I'm gonna be like, no one. Okay. This is the tunnel. God damn, I really do look like shit. That's better. Oh, uh, they used to have graffiti all on the walls. I guess they covered a lot of it up, but like legitimately, like it was graffiti everywhere. Technically, that's graffiti. <laughs> no, technically, what I did is graffiti. Technically, it's graffiti is vandalism. Technically, I spoke the law on camera. On camera, God. Good God. Savage. Oh, yeah, the bell rung. Or it's about to ring. I see people walking around. Yeah, but I got out like, right before. Right before 11.30, I was about to say 12. Right before 11.30, because now it's 11.30 right now. Or it's coming up on 11.30. I think I got out of jury duty like a little bit before 11. Or maybe like right at 11. I can make it. Oh, micro family farm. What's that, like micro fruit and shit? It's got tomato. I don't know why I said fruit. Um... Yeah, but I did get paid. God damn. Thank God I'm not in middle school anymore. Oh, shit. Bro, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a little bit, you know, because I went to that middle school. You know, and I'm sitting here looking at it, it's kind of just like, it's kind of just like, fuck, that shit's annoying. I'm glad I don't go, but it's, it's kind of like I'm also looking like, damn, like I used to be that fucking small. I used to do all that shit. I don't know. It's kind of just like, damn, you know, it just all hits you like, shit, time moves fast as hell. I always told y'all, time moves fast as hell. Like, you'll be in the middle of doing something. Like, legitimately, you'll be in the middle of doing something. And before you know it, everything's just passed by. You know? Kind of getting a little bit sidetracked. But, uh, I made six dollars. And I think that's pretty good, if you ask me, because I literally made 
six dollars just sitting there. Um, there's a few things that I do want to say. I only got one payment of six dollars. I don't know, because I thought it was Kush Clouds who told me, you know, you get paid six dollars by the hour. Uh, they just told me it was just like a one-time thing, just like not one time, but like every time you have jury duty. You set through the little uh, intro at first, then they pay you six dollars. Then you can uh, reschedule, or you can come back, all that shit. But that's only like if you had stuff to do, and like you couldn't do it today. And I was thinking about doing that, but then I thought, but what if I don't get picked today? You know, what if I don't get picked today, you know? And by the time they started talking about, you know, 60 in this group, 90 in this group, 75 people are going to get to leave. That's when I was start. that's when I started to be like, I'm going to beat this car. That's when I started to be like, you know, why would I bail out when I'm probably already not even in, you know? That's like, that's like saying, you know what, I'll roll out of a car. Yeah, I'll roll out of a car. Okay, but uh, there's no reason. I don't care, man. I want to roll out of a car. You know, it's just like... <laughs> what the fuck? I really wish I had my cigarettes. But uh, good thing. I haven't smoked one cigarette today, but I will when I get home, obviously. God damn. But well, when I get home, obviously, I've been trying to cut back, and I really do want to completely cut them out, you know? Because, let me put it this way. I got $6 today, okay? For sitting there, listening to a little, I guess a little seminar type thing. You know, just explain what jury duty is and all this. And, uh, for all that, I can only buy, like, a pack of cigarettes. So, kind of got to do the math. I can only buy a pack of cigarettes for $6. But what, what else can you buy for $6 other than a pack of cigarettes? You can buy a Coke. Six dollars, man. Look, you go to McDonald's. Look, you could feed three people with six dollars. Three people you could feed with six dollars. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Sausage McMuffin, large drink. Sausage McMuffin, large drink. Sausage McMuffin, large drink. I know that shit because I've lived that life before, man. I lived that life before, and it's just like, you start re you start realizing, like, damn, you know, I'm blowing, you know, money, and, like, when you first start smoking, like, this is why I first start smoking. When you first start smoking, it seems so affordable. Like, it literally seems like the most affordable thing you can do, okay? I'm kind of yelling. But it seems like an affordable thing you can do, you know? Five dollars for a pet. Smoke the pet. Maybe like every three, four days buy a new pet. You know, it sounds like a... It sounds like an investment, but it sounds like it would work. But the problem is... You know, that pet... You know, may last you three days. Then the next pack may last you two and a half days. The next pack may just last you two days. Then you're on this, you know, you keep on going to more, to more, to more. Because your body doesn't get the same, like, what are these cars driving by slow? 
but it doesn't get the same light. Oh, let me show you all that. It's a little uh, water fountain in my city. But you know, like your body needs more nicotine because it's getting used to all that nicotine. Shit! Six fucking dollars, man. I could literally go up to Jack in the Box. It's certainly, like right there. I could go to Jack in the Box. I could buy like two dollar hamburgers. I could buy a large drink. I could buy a large fry. That's probably it. That's probably it, to be honest with you. Because when you start involving french fries, that's when shit gets expensive. Which never made sense to me. Because it's just like you would think a french fry. Like, french fries aren't that expensive. It's a potato. Which, you know, I don't know. All they do is cut up a potato and dip it in the fucking, uh, can't even think right now, because one, I got sun in my eyes, two, I'm recording, and I, I see two of myself, I see one of me on the camera, and then I see one of me on the glare of my phone, like, there's a glare on my phone, that's me, and then I see myself on my phone, and that's me. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy I didn't get hit, but the more I thought about it, you know, because I had a lot of time to sit there and think about it. She was literally calling names like this. C.M. Connolly. Cush Clouds TV. Sorry if I mispronounced that wrong. Rizzy, you know, some shit like that, and like, I was just like, I had so much time to think, and at first, I was just like, heart speeding all fast, and I'm just like, no, 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 and then I'm just like, you know, like, by the time it was to the uh, second, you know, where they were calling out the names for the second, oh, okay. I was just like, I don't really care if I get it anymore. You know, if I get it, you know, it's experience. At least I know what I'm going to be doing next time. You know, some shit like that. But he kept on going. Kept on going. And she said, okay, well, that's it. She got up, and then the guy whispered in her ear. And she's just like, hmm. And she's just like, so, Claire is not here. So, I'm going to go back and ask them if they want me to find another person or if y'all can just leave. So, she goes back. She's back there for about a good, about a good 15 minutes. About a good 15 minutes. And, like, everything's just dead-ass quiet. Like, no one's really talking. Like, maybe you hear a whisper every now and then just... Like shit like that. So it was kind of like just a little bit, but it was. It wasn't so much talking that you could actually make it out. So she comes back out about 15 minutes after all that. And we're all just like looking really hard as shit. And we're just like all like sit up, just like trying to be all proper. She just sits down. She's taking her, her precious time. Like taking all the time in the world to sit down. So she sits down. And she's she's sitting there talking to the other guy. She's not even talking to us yet. And I'm just like, ooh, shout out to guy in the red uh, cruiser. Shout out to guy, the guy in, red, in the red cruiser. He said, he said hi or yo or something. I heard something. Shout to the deck, the deck. Shout to the dick in the uh, cruiser PT. I think that's a PT cruiser. PT cruisers are the one with the box shape. Oh, fuck it, I'm not even talking about that. But anyways, 
she sits down, she talks to the other guy, and her microphone's off, so we can't hear anything she's saying. And she turns, cuts her mic on, takes her, her sweet ass time getting close to the mic. <coughs> so by this time, I know someone's going to be a very unlucky fellow, because that means they did not miss it once. They did not miss it twice. They missed it twice, then they got picked. Well, technically it would be. He missed it twice, then got picked. But, I'm sorry if I, if I seem a little bit, you know, out of it. One, I'm sweating my ass off. Two, ooh, police. Why you cuffing my, is you the police? Is you the police? Is you the police? Stop cuffing my... Is you the police? Is you the police? Is you the police? Why you cuffing my... Is you the police? Is you the... Fuck this shit. Oh, don't jaywalk, folks. You jaywalk, you can go to hell. You know, God hates jaywalkers. God hates jaywalkers, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh shit, we walked three blocks. Well, coming up on three blocks. Because literally, I had to go. My dad drove me downtown. It took probably like 20 minutes to go downtown no it took longer than that because there was real bad traffic this morning but it's just like traffic hasn't been bad since the uh, this is noon it's not technically noon but traffic hasn't been that bad you know i'm kind of getting better talking around people you know I don't know if you noticed but that's like the third guy like I walked up on and I just was just continued what I was saying you know and I you know just what's up you know I like that I like that we didn't do this like I don't know I don't know I, I like that you know just walking around talking to guys it's real lively it's real lively. And you know, we don't got a cigarette. We don't got anything. And I have to say, it just makes it more nature-y, more lively. You know? I do have to say that. Do I want to go up and hit it? Or do I want to run? And go straight. We'll run and go straight. We don't got to run. He's not going to hit me. <sighs> But he just like sped up just when I said that, and I was just like, Oh, he's gonna hit me. No. I don't know why I like that house, but that house is just. I don't know, I like it because it's like small. It's got like a really small backyard, but it's also not like. It's not too small. You know, like, it's small and secure, but it's not, like, so small that you would feel crowded. I guess because it's two stories, but it's just, like, I don't know. I really like, I really like to look it up. I think it's two stories. Yeah, it's two stories. It's hard to tell which house is a two story. That one's two story. So that's how I knew that one was two story. Yeah, I wanted to make this video. Because I know some people are going to be like me. I know some people are like me and never been to jury duty. And this is my first time. You know, so why would I not share it with you? That's an alley dog. That's an alley dog. There's a dog in the alley. I mean... Technically, people live, like, in the alley. 
But I mean, still, it's Alley Dog. It's Alley Dog. Alley Dog. I don't know. Yeah, but I just... Tell me how y'all guys feel. Tell me what y'all guys think about this. Because if y'all like, like, life experience videos... feel like it's a good time to start making them, you know, because I'm going to start doing some stuff, and, you know, I would love to take y'all guys with me, if y'all don't mind, you know, I feel like it could be really fun, you know, really entertaining, who knows, you know, maybe one day we might go to the park, maybe one day we might go to court. You know? Who knows? One day we have jury duty. The next day. I'm trying to think of another. The next day we're cooking sushi. <laughs> One day you have jury duty. The next day you're cooking sushi. <laughs> oh, at least, it's, at least it sounds all right. You know, polos, they're not, like, heavy-fitting, you know, and this is, like, this is a large, that's why it's probably been hot, because, like, I like to wear a medium polo, but, like, large, you see, large is, like, probably more my size. Look at this. I love this car. It's one of my favorite cars. I don't know the guy there, but, uh, he's got some kids that always come out, play the hoops. And uh, they used to come over to uh, my house, because my house is right there after we hit the stop sign. Come to my house, and then just kind of just like, I don't know, just be there. You know? Yeah, come on. Let's y'all guys go. Hope you enjoyed. And... Yeah, we shall. The best of luck on your magnificent journey. So, uh, whatever you do, peace out. Love you guys.